I previously had a question asking about the settings and the clarity settings on my sonar. If you'll notice on this, and again, my camera is not real clear, but if you'll notice, it shows the depth that I'm at. It shows 6.9 feet. 6.9 feet. It shows the water temperature. Right now it shows 101. We're sitting in the garage with it uh, pretty hot in here. It shows the ground speed in miles per hour, which is zero. I've reset the trip distance over ground, which is zero. It shows the voltmeter on my uh, battery. And then it shows the time, which is setting at 6.46 p.m. It does show real clearly right now that there is no depth or anything, and it's simply because I am not in the water. And so I don't know that uh, anything that I'm going to show on the Lawrence Mark IV that I have that would make any difference as far as clarity. I am going to show some settings that I have and go with that. I am going to hit the menu button and hit menu again and I don't know whether you can see or not but it shows the system chart sonar alarms units and all on the system setting I hit move it up to system setting and hit enter and I have the audio on it shows where I can reset the time. It shows GPS status, trip calculator, the data port, which if you're using a separate uh, data port speed temperature deal you can put in the water that will fasten into this. It shows the chart or sonar split. If I'm using the 200 and the 83, it would be showing that side by side. It has an advanced mode, which uh, I find is more confusing. I have the opportunity to restore defaults and then I can browse the files on the uh, system if I'm plugged into with a USB to my computer. I'm going to hit the menu button to back this up. Menu. I'm going to go to the chart setting. Hit it. Hit enter. And it shows that uh, the chart data, I have the COG extension off. I have the grid lines off. I wish this was clearer. I'm not sure how to make it any clearer. Grid lines off. Waypoints on, routes on, and trails on. That's why I can mark my grid lines, points, and trails. I'm going to back this up by hitting the menu button again. I'm going to go down to the sonar and hit enter. And across that, again, I don't know how clear this is showing up on the uh, video but it has noise rejection I have that on low and that uh, causes your sonar to pick up less uh, noise you can raise that to medium or high if you raise the noise rejection to medium or high that might cut down on the amount of junk that you're showing up on the surface is what I understand from the settings. I leave mine on low because I seem to have very little issues with that. I'm going to hit the menu button to back up. If you'll notice, I leave my mode on fresh water and my fishing mode. You can reset the fishing mode. And are you sure you want to reset fishing mode fresh water to factory defaults? This will permanently delete your modification to it. I do not want to delete those modifications. I'm going to cancel that and then it has an installation area and I don't want to do anything on the installation. I'm going to hit menu and go back. Alarms. Now, I've set this one time to show that fish. It does show me if I hit shallow water and I've got the depth set at three feet. If it gets below three feet, I have told it to set an alarm there. Uh, that should go off, but I've actually got that turned off so that it will not go off if I hit it. And you can set that at different depths. Uh, down button to set those depths. I'm hit the menu button. 
menu button again to back out of that, back out of that, units. I've just got my standard units set up there. Hit the menu button to go back. And then you can always go to the simulator. Let's look at the simulator just a minute. It's simulating uh, different things. I can go to my sonar and you can see there one of them shows the depth and where I'm at on the lake and then the other one is showing the bottoms of the lake with the fish. And again, this is a sonar split screen. If I want to unsplit that screen, I can go right there to the right and it just simply shows me my screen. It's showing no static on the top. If you'll notice, it says that the depth is 47 feet. Top water that it's showing is 41 on the simulator. Of course, speed over ground, depth, but it is showing my 12.6 volts and my 6.52, I'm sorry, 6.52 is the time. We are sitting in Conway, Arkansas. Don't know this has helped, but hopefully uh, gain some understanding on the Sonar Lawrence Mark IV. If you'll notice the blinking across the screen, anytime you're doing a uh, video of a screen, that's that screen refresh, and depending on how speed is, how fast it's refreshing, is how fast it will happen. There is also a ping setting on the sonar, and I did not see that, but if you'll set that ping setting, it'll talk about how many times that your sonar goes out and looks for a signal. You can set that to a very fast rate or a very slow rate, and that will also change some of the ways that you see noise or junk on your screen. I hope this has helped. Uh, I enjoy trying to do things like this and understand things like this because when I do something like this, it helps me understand more. I appreciate your time. Have a good rest of the Sunday and have a good work week.